I wonder if voters remember, because I remember putting it on this program right before the 2020 election, when there were caravans of illegals lined up in Mexico or coming on the trains or walking in caravans with those really clean, not a scratch or mark on them, those clean white shirts that said Joe Biden. How'd they get those? And why did they know? Oh, let's just line up just in case he wins, then we can walk right in. I mean, this sounds, again, like I said at the beginning of the interview, Ken, you can't even write a movie script like what's happening to our country right now with this invasion. Seriously, would you ever think this in all your years in public well, service? Well, and of course, it's a whole lot easier to knock down a border than to deport 10 million people. That is hard, hard work. And uh, that's the work that Trump has promised to undertake. And look, that's it's going to be tough. American people right now in polling support that. But when they see actually millions of people being pushed back over the border into Mexico, um, the emotional appearance of that and the feel of it is going to be harder to sustain. And you really got to hope that Trump will stick with it. Of course, he has to win first and stick with it. Otherwise, this has no consequences. And by the way, one set of people always forgotten and ignored, uh, including by Kamala Harris, are American poor people. American poor people have job opportunities and depressed wages taken from them because of unskilled illegal immigrant um, entrance into this country. At the end of 2019, with a booming Trump economy, it wasn't just lower taxes and deregulation that helped raise wages. It was enforcement of illeg against illegal immigration. And you know who in American society's wages went up the highest percent? It was the people at the bottom, poor Americans. So when you see so many uh, Hispanic and black Trump supporters, they get it. They get it. We spent more time under 8% black unemployment in the first Trump presidency than the rest of your and my life combined. They get what a Trump economy means. It isn't just talking word salads about driving prices down and then imp imposing price controls, which have the opposite effect. Right. A typical unknowing communist solution. Um, you know, it's like Ayn Rand is unfolding before us here. At, the Atlas Shrugged campaign is Kamala Harris's world that she envisions. And that's what'll happen if she starts to implement these policies.